Welcome back YouTubers and Madden fans, this is Mad Money Shop bringing you another Madden 20 update. We have some serious Madden news that dropped about 10-15 minutes ago uh, right before the NFL draft. Um, they released some serious news including the uh, the Madden cover athlete. I'm not sure if this is the official cover but you're looking at it right now. Patrick Mahomes. This is a pretty obvious answer as well as the release date and some new features, some new game modes that are going to be coming out. If you guys want to see that, stick around after the intro. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Bringing my first video out in about two weeks. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Uh, the reason that I didn't put out a video last week is because I just recently moved into a new house. Um, so if you guys know, that's a lot of work. And I'm still kind of living out of boxes right now. But this you know, information dropped at a perfect time for me because it's a real simple video for me to do just to research it and give you, um, you know, a synopsis of what's going on. Uh, but like I said, the biggest one that came across uh, my desk popped up on my phone was Patrick Mahomes is the cover athlete. Not a huge surprise. I mean, he's, you know, the MVP, the reigning MVP of the league. Um, there's a lot of guys you could have went with. But since he's a young, marketable star, you know what I'm saying? He's known for, for things that are important in Madden, like, like a, you know, a rocket arm. And, you know, he's a really good pick for this. But I'm just surprised at how quickly they came out with it. Last year, the cover athlete of Antonio Brown didn't come out until about, like, three, four weeks before the game came out. Like, it was, it was, and that's typical. Like, every year, the cover athlete comes out later and later. So this for this to come out, you know, it, before the summer even starts is kind of surprising. And it's not necessarily the best weekend either. I wasn't even going to put a video out this weekend with Game of Thrones, you know, coming back, uh, the Avengers Endgame coming out, the draft. There's a lot of other things going on so that something like this could go under the radar and not even get picked up. But the NFL, uh, I guess, I mean, the EA rather, tried to jump on NFL's big moment, the draft, and uh, we're going to see if it works out. We're going to see if this is a good idea or not. I think the other big thing that came out is the release date. Once again, EA jumping the gun a little bit. Last year, they released the game a little bit earlier than they than they typically do, a little bit earlier in August. This year, it's coming out, and I'll go ahead and I'll scroll down here, but I thought I saw the release date was August 2nd, which is awesome for me because it shortens my off season. Uh, but it's uh, surprising. Like I said, it's, it's, it's really early. I don't know where that was on this somewhere where I was reading it. But uh, an August 2nd release is right around the time that preseason starts. You know I mean, that's like training camp season uh, before the NFL season. That's about a couple weeks before the NFL season really kicks off. So once again, they're pushing the release date up further. I think they saw how successful it was last year. And I think they went ahead and went another week or two ahead of that. Um, because, you know, all the kids are out of school and stuff like that. So it's a good season for them to start it off. Uh, and get some extra revenue when it comes to you know mutton stuff like that so i actually kind of like that it's once again just surprising at how early they're doing this now the only other real major things on here uh that i saw um kind of to come you know to go with uh what they're doing with uh, patrick mahomes it's to kick off a new game mode a new game mode based around um the quarterback being you know the central focus and uh, i forget the name of it but that's the abbreviated version right there but the uh, the new franchise mode is face of the franchise qb so basically what this is is kind of superstar mode which they've been doing for a long time but you don't get to pick a position you're stuck a quarterback uh which is the position we all play when we play madden anyway typically but you're stuck a quarterback and you're you're basically going to go through a career of a quarterback and they're going to have like a randomizing uh type of you know a situation simulator so nobody gets the same you know the same situations over and over which sounded pretty cool but realistically um this sounds like they're kind of going away from uh the last two years where they had the story mode it sounds like they're going to have this now which is kind of something that's been around a while like i said superstar mode was pretty close except you get to pick what position you wanted and there wasn't really a story involved so i gotta be honest as a competitive player None of this really impresses me. I don't really care. Um, but I might check it out. I mean, you know, it's something that some people, you're, they're trying to draw in the casual Madden fans instead of people like me who buy it every year regardless and play, you know, online a, a lot because we love the, the, the war zone that is Madden Online. So I get what they're trying to do. It sounds like the story mode probably costs a little bit more. I got a feeling it doesn't say for sure that they're going away from the story mode. But I think that the story mode cost uh, a little bit more to make and now to make this where you're basically just going to be playing the game with maybe some like cutscenes, it's probably a lot cheaper version so it sounds like they cut the cost for story mode because I ain't really making money anyway it wasn't bringing people in I think the way they thought that it was and uh, this is kind of the take or what they're going to do with it 
So I would imagine don't expect too much cinematic, uh, you know, stuff like the like the last two years story modes. More like you know, just a couple of cutscenes, and then you're gonna kind of like 2K is. You know what I mean? Like probably a little more gutted. Like 2K goes a little bit deeper into the stories. They have like actors and like a lot of really like long drawn out movie scenes. I think this is gonna be kind of like after you turn pro in 2K, where you're basically just getting like you know your options to go play the games and stuff like that. And that's pretty much it. You might have like a trophy room like the old e the old ESPN games. You know. I'm saying like I don't think they're gonna be too crazy on the story mode. It sounds like they're, they're dialing that back. And then it seems like they're gonna have something called Superstar X Factor, which is you know signature moves. This is something I think that they basically are repackaging, which is something they do every year where they try to add signature moves and signature celebrations to players. Um, so I don't really think that this is necessarily anything new. They're just expanding upon it. A lot of times they might return something for something that they already are trying to implicate more and more every year. So that's kind of what I think that is. I don't think that's necessarily anything uh, game breaking. And then you get the uh, the information that you know only get if you order the uh, superstar edition which is probably gonna be like the $80 edition doesn't say but it typically is you know the little bit of a, a little bit more up front typically like 20 bucks you probably get it a little bit early this August 2nd by the way probably is like the three-day early release that you typically get not the the actual release would probably be like the fifth or something August 2nd is a Friday I don't think games typically drop on a Friday so like I said it's probably this is probably the early release date but you can see right here um, you know the benefits you're gonna get from the superstar edition which like I said is typically 20 bucks more 12 gold fantasy packs uh, that's obviously worth it to people that play ultimate team um, and then you get a choice of a core elite which you typically do and I'm sure they'll release more information in the future of other free players that you can get and other ways to get it which you typically you know which you typically do uh, small training quick sell packs of so training is gonna be back that's confirmed uh, I think training saves them a lot of money to be honest with you but I'm not gonna get into that today um, but that definitely curbs the secondhand market coins a little bit with the training uh, which is something I want to make a video about um, but I'm not really going to go into that too much today and then you also get a legend superstar ability um, for a created player in uh, in the mode that I just uh, you know referred to so um, not not necessarily something like I said I don't even know if I'm going to be playing it. hopefully you get a little bit more than that that seems kind of light compared to previous years uh, but we'll see um, you know how that goes going forward this is probably not the last uh, official information drop that they're going to have uh, obviously but this is a pretty good start so that's it that's the video like I said I didn't necessarily have a video plan because I'm still kind of living out of boxes but this is a pretty easy video for me to do if you want me to keep you up to date with more stuff like this more information as it comes out do me a favor hit the like button and let me know in the comment section other than that Thanks for watching, man. Mice it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.